This is very, very exciting. We are here with the man, the myth, the legend, former Mr. Universe, and uh, big rival to Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the 70s, Mr. Lou Ferrigno. Thank you very much for My being pleasure. with us. Funny you and I were talking about training. Yeah. I, I mean, I told him I train a little bit, and then our photographer Tony said, you know, I lift a little bit. Literally, I do lift a little bit. But of course, you're known to, to millions and millions of people around the world as the Incredible Hulk. And that's where most people probably still recognize you from, isn't it? Yeah, all the time. Especially now being a bodybuilder champion, it connects the two because the fans learned that I, I was Mr. Universe twice, Mr. International, Mr. America. And still today, uh, I'm still passionate about bodybuilding like I used to be. Now, there is a documentary that really brought you to fame. came out back in the mid-70s called Pumping Iron. Correct. And it chronicled this rivalry between you and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Your for favorite the, governor, huh? Yeah, yeah, uh, for, for, the, uh, for the Mr. Olympia um, competition. What was that rivalry like? Were you guys friends? Are you still friends? Oh, we're friends, but the thing when you compete against each other, you know, of course, I wanted to beat him because he was my idol growing up. And I went from like Teenage America, Mr. Mr. America, Mr. Universe, right to the Mr. Olympia. And uh, I wanted to knock him off the crown because I only trained like 10 weeks for the competition because mm -hmm. I was training for the ABC Superstars. But, but still today, it's only the two of us. You have bodybuilding champion, but the two of us made it to the mainstream. And it's one of the reasons why I got into bodybuilding, because he was, he was the first tall person to, to break on the scene. Right, and, you, and, and you'll notice that Lewis tall, you're six foot five. Right, and it was a lot of fun competing because, uh, you know, there's a lot of tension. The thing people don't know about bodybuilding, it's not like a, uh, a, a regular sport. You have to be in your best shape that one day of Just the year. Day. Like the Olympic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're off 10%, 5%, you lose. So the whole entire preparation, dieting, training, tanning, posing for that one day. Yeah. Now we're going to talk about Comic Palooza, the reason you're in town in just a moment. But the last question I have for you, Lou, is you and Arnold achieved such great success in the world of entertainment. In fact, we have some clips of you. You were on The King of Queens and you were on The Celebrity Apprentice and you were obviously on The Incredible Hulk. Um, the, if you look back over the last decade at the big bodybuilders these days, uh, Texas bred Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler, the guys who are the elite bodybuilders these days are not making it big. They're obscure. Most people who are watching at home probably don't even know who they are. Why were you able to achieve such fame and maybe the bodybuilders these days aren't? Well, the bodybuilders are today are really awesome. I mean, like uh, the way they develop. I think Arnold and I may because we're very driven in that way, and we want to go in the mainstream because my ambition is to go into television and be and be. Uh, so you wanted to do that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a drive where we came from. We had our father that uh, driven incredible work ethics, and I have this drive that I want to just be a bodybuilder champion. I want to be a worldwide motivational speaker, an actor, an entrepreneur, a writer, an author. So I had those dreams, but it's all about the drive. Mm -hmm. And 40 years later, still only the two of us, but I'm happy the fact that what we've done set a standard for other bodybuilders that, that they're much more uh, money, uh, money involved in the sport. Yeah, well, I, I still think you guys look better in the 70s than the guys these symmetry. days. You kind of, yeah, yeah, symmetry, small yeah. waist also. Yeah, I, I like to look back then. Yep. Uh, we want to let you know that Comic Palooza is going on at the George R. Brown Convention Center. It runs Friday through Monday, and are you going to be there all four days? Yeah, then Monday, free admission for the military. Free admission for military members on Monday, and you could get a chance to meet and greet with Lou Ferrigno. You're awesome. It has been and an absolute honor. And the ticket sales going through the roof, and this show they're expecting over 40,000 people. 40,000 people. All right, mm -hmm. Mr. Lou Ferrigno, the original Incredible Hulk. Thank you so much, sir. Thank for you. Being here. All right.